క్లాస్ లెవెన్ అకౌంటెన్సీ న్యూరికల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సొల్యూషన్స్ ప్రెజెంటెడ్ బై ఎడ్సిట్ డాట్ కామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వేర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ట్రయల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ అండ్ రెక్టిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సిక్స్టీన్ సొల్యూషన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈస్ ఎస్ ఫాలోస్ రెక్టిఫై ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఎర్రర్స్ A. Depreciation provided on machinery 4,000 rupees was not posted. B. Bad debts written off 5,000 rupees were not posted. C. Discount allowed to a debtor 100 rupees on receiving cash from him was not posted. D. Discount allowed to a debtor 100 rupees on receiving cash from him was not posted to discount account. E. Bill receivable for 2000 rupees received from a debtor was not posted. Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors, let us first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited and any decrease should be credited. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be credited. and any decrease should be debited most of the errors given in the problem are simply errors of omission in other words a transaction was totally not posted or partially not posted to rectify this kind of errors we will simply enter the transaction that will take care of it so let's start with the analysis of the first error in this case 4000 rupees of depreciation provided on machinery was not posted let's first analyze the original transaction as you know depreciation is an operating expense In this transaction, a machine is depreciated. In other words, we have to post an operating expense in this transaction. So, we should debit the depreciation account. At the same time, as the machine is depreciated, the worth of the machine will be decreasing. So, as the asset value is decreasing in this case, we should credit the machine account. However, this depreciation was not posted. So to rectify this error we should post these entries with this analysis at our disposal let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us first write the title as general recordings to rectify the errors i repeat this is not just journal it is general recordings to rectify the errors let us now have the individual columns for date particulars ledger folio debit amount in rupees and credit amount in rupees as the date is not given let's just write the serial number in the date column let's now enter depreciation account as the debit entry let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let's now write the debit amount of 4000 rupees in the debit amount column that completes the recording of the debit entry let's now record the credit entry as you know the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin they also start with 2 let us now write machine account as the credit entry let us then write the credit amount of 4000 rupees in the credit amount column that completes the recording of the credit entry let us now enter the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being depreciation provided on machinery error rectification recording was not posted earlier Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now analyze the next error. In this case, 5000 rupees of bad debts written off were not posted. Let us first analyze the original transaction. As you know, bad debts are administrative expenses. In this transaction, the business is writing off the bad debts. In other words, we have to post the administrative expenses in this transaction. So, we should debit the bad debts account. At the same time, as these bad debts can no more be collected from the debtors, the debtor assets of the business will be decreasing. So, we should create the debtors account. However, these bad debts were not posted. This is error of total omission. So, to rectify this error, we should post these entries. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the bad debts account as the debit entry. 
Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 5000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the debtor's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 5000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being bad debts written off, error rectification recording was not posted earlier. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries, let us now take up the next error. In this case, there was 100 rupees of discount allowed to a debtor on receiving cash from him and this was not posted. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, there is a discount allowed to a debtor. As you know, the discount allowed is an expense for the business. So, we should debit the discount allowed account. At the same time, as this discount is allowed to the debtor, which implies that the debtor would pay 100 rupees less than what he actually has to pay. So, the debtor asset of the business is decreasing. So, we should create the debtor's account. However, this discount allowed was not posted. So, this is an error of total omission. So, to rectify this error, we should post these entries. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write discount allowed account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 100 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us write the debtor's account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 100 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being discount allowed to debtor on receiving cash from him. Error rectification recording was not posted earlier. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries, let us now take up the next error. In this case, there was a 100 rupees of discount allowed to a debtor on receiving cash from him and this was not posted to discount account. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, there is a discount allowed to a debtor. As you know, the discount allowed is an expense for the business. So, we should debit the discount allowed account. At the same time, as this discount is allowed to the debtor, which implies that the debtor would pay 100 rupees less than what he actually has to pay. So, the debtor asset of the business is decreasing. So, we should create the debtor account. However, this discount allowed was not posted only to the discount account. This implies that it was posted to the debtor's account. So, we don't have to bother about it. It is only the discount account that was not posted. So, this error is partial omission. Note that in the previous case, it was total omission, but here it is partial omission. So, this is one-sided error. As this is one-sided error, the account that should be created will be the suspense account. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write discount allowed account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 100 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record suspense account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 100 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being discount allowed to debtor on receiving cash from him. Error rectification recording was not posted to discount allowed account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 2000 rupees of bills receivable from a debtor was not posted. Let us first analyze the original transaction. So, in this transaction, there is a bills receivable received from the debtor. Bills receivable are assets for the business. You will learn more about the bills receivable in the bill of exchange chapter. We have done a small refresher on this when we were discussing the bank reconciliation statement related problems. If you have not watched those videos and not familiar with the concept of bills receivable, 
For now, just assume that it is very similar to a check or demand draft which can be converted to cash at a later point of time. Just to be clear, it is not a check but it is something similar to check. So instead of paying cash, the debtor is paying in the form of bills receivable. The business will collect the bills receivable at a later point of time. So we need to debit the bills receivable account. At the same time, as the debtor has paid his dues in the form of bills receivable, the debtor asset of the business will be decreasing in this transaction. So we should create the debtor's account. However, this bills receivable was not posted. So to rectify this error, we should post these entries. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write bills receivable account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 2000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the debtor's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being bills receivable from the debtor, error rectification recording was not posted earlier. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries, and that is the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.